Welcome to Arabesque, the show that, as usual, takes you to the best arts and culture events from the MENA regions right here in busy London town. Today, we are visiting the Saudi artist Mohamed Ajlan's first ever solo exhibition in the UK. Welcome. The Park Gallery was opened in 1992 by my father, Robin Start, um, and he initially uh, started specialising in Orientalist art, um, as well as British pictures and prints. Um, so it functioned as a gallery space, but also as an advisory service. Um, these days, in the last decade or so especially, we've moved more and shifted towards specialising in modern contemporary Arab art, um, hence why we're exhibiting a Saudi artist at the moment. Saudi is definitely a growing scene. Europe is a very established market for artists, um, whereas people are really just starting to, to catch on to the Saudi market internationally now. Um, a few, art, few artists are now becoming well known internationally, and that's helping other artists within the country and within the region in general to gain more recognition. Um, but there has been a thriving art scene for some time in Saudi. It's just taken a bit of time for it to become internationally recognized, but, but we hope, and there are other galleries who are also exhibiting Saudi artists um, worldwide, we hope to continue to promote their work and to make more people aware of them because there are some extremely talented artists within, within the country and people just haven't yet caught on to that. Mohamed Ajlan is a lovely, a lovely guy. Um, he was born in 1962 and he's based now in, in Riyadh where he lives with his family and he also has a studio at his home. But he's well established within the country um, and we love his work and that's why we've really decided to, to put on a solo exhibition for him in London. He's, he's really one of, one of Saudi's foremost abstract calligraphers. Um, he's a member of the Association of Calligraphic Artists within the Ministry of Culture um, and he's held exhibitions um, a number of exhibitions within, within Saudi um, over the last 20 years. Uh, one of his most important exhibitions was in 1995. Um, he exhibited a group of seven works um, based upon the Mualakat, which is the a group of seven hanging poems which were, were hung either in or outside the, the Kaaba in, uh, in Mecca. Um, and they were the seven works of the best poetry works of, of, the, um, of the best Islamic or pre-Islam poets, in fact. Um, he's someone who, who, who blends calligraphy with, with abstract elements very harmoniously and quite effortlessly, as you see in his work. Um, but, but a lot of his calligraphy is based, even, even when it's very abstract, is based loosely upon poetic writings. He works largely in acrylics, he also sometimes works in oils and he also works on, on canvas but he prefers the, uh, the, sort of the quickness of, of the medium, show off his, his um, finest, finest skill which is, which is blending these, these calligraphic elements with, with abstract techniques. But we've had positive reception to his work, we exhibited, with, we exhibited two of his works actually quite recently at, at the Art 14 Fair um, at the end of February and it's, it's quite unusual, it's not necessarily what you'd expect for someone who isn't familiar with the with Saudi artists in general, his his work is not necessarily what you'd expect when you when you see it and think that's a Saudi artist. Um, but he's he's quite a quite an eccentric character. I think that definitely comes across in in his work. I hope that people come to to be able to become familiar with with him who haven't who haven't come across his work before and have the chance to see it now in London. And uh, and yeah, we hope for for big things for him uh, and to exhibit his work more in the future. Thank you so much for joining us. Join us next week as we ravage the streets to find you the best of arts and culture events from the Middle East regions right here in London Town, UK. Until then, take good care.